Mission at 20 minutes remaining. Heavy. Southeast. Close. Calling in orbital strike. Heavy. On my position. I wanted to talk about something in Helldivers 2, at least in the community side, I think that isn't being talked about enough. Basically, we are still losing to Sony. As, as everyone knows, there was that whole linking the PSN accounts to Steam, or at least your Helldivers 2 account. Sony did take back what they said, and we all thought that was that. That's not what happened at all. What actually happened is they said that they would revoke that decision, but they just completely stabbed us in the back and they just decided to block the game in 177 countries, I believe. So something around 180 countries. And it's it's completely unfair to them, those countries that was blocked. And I don't think that's being talked about enough. It's unfortunate. And I believe that last I heard, or last time I checked in the Discord for Helldivers 2, it was still in discussion between Steam the, and the game and Sony to put it back out to the people where it's blocked because, you know, Sony said, I will die on the hill that they created of, if you can't link your account, might as well have you not play it anyways. I will link a video in the description that talks more about it, at least in more detail. I just don't think it's being talked about enough. Uh, with the game being blocked in 177 countries, that's a reason why we lost uh, like 90% of players. There's a very big creator named Zanny. He has about 2.4 million subscribers. Uh, he lives in the Philippines and that country got blocked from having access to Helldivers 2 entirely as it was removed from Steam and those countries that is blocked by PSN or that isn't available to PSN. It's just completely blocked. Uh, they can't play it, they can't switch to VPN or anything like that, or they'll be banned from the game. So they're in a very rough spot with that, and that's why a lot of the player base has disappeared. It's because a lot of those players have been blocked from the game entirely. It is it is very upsetting, um, and like I said, it's at least being in discussion last time I heard. Or last time I saw, it's being a discussion. Anyways, so I wanted to talk about some ideas I had for the actual game. Obviously, you know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a big creator or anything like that. I just had some ideas, I guess, that I thought would be fun to have, I guess. The, the first idea I had, it's a stratagem. It's basically a tank to basically combat with the tanks that are on the automaton side. It's a two-seater, two-main-seater vehicle. So basically you have the driver and then a backseat operator. So the driver, he shoots, drives the tank. The person in the backseat, who's also in the cabin, they, they would call targets, reload the main gun, uh, and just basically call ranges and like I said, call targets nothing much but basically act as a spotter for the tank and also the loader and then and I, I guess an extended part of that idea is having a third seat which is a gunner that would sit on the top operate like a 50 cal you know clear out the smaller targets and stuff so while the driver deals with the bigger targets and then the spotter can spot those bigger targets you know they don't have to worry about tiny little ants nibbling at their ankles you know another thing that i think needs to actually be brought into the game is proxy chat uh we have two different so it, i don't know if anyone has played starship troopers extermination but basically what that game had is they had a team chat and then they had a local chat i think helldivers 2 should have the same or at least something like that at least like local chat you know like how lethal company has local chat unless you have a radio make us have a filter on for the the voices i want to have a radio voice while i'm trying to talk to and communicate with teammates and stuff and i don't know i just think that'd be just kind of fun i guess so and i really think dead teammates shouldn't be able to talk until they're respawned 
until they're respawned when people die, you know, screaming for their life and then all of a sudden it's just cut off. I think it'd just be a good time, I guess, with that type of voice chat. And speaking of communications, I think, I don't know whether or not this would slow down gameplay or not, limit communications entirely, but I also think it could improve in communications or at least do something. I want a communications backpack stratagem and my idea was for it was like so you can't have like a team chat so you can't talk to people across the map unless you have a communications backpack but you can talk locally for like without anything you can talk just fine if you guys like all stick together you're talking locally communicating that way but if you guys are wanting to like split up and you're like you know you're having to go to one objective two others go to another objective but you can't communicate unless those two are just talking to themselves like they have to have one of someone ha on the map or on the team has to have a communications backpack to basically act as like a radio guy kind of like something like from like vietnam almost and i think what that can do you know it allows you to talk long range or across the entire team for everybody not just it, again it just has to have one dude carry the backpack for the rest of the team to talk freely across the entire map whether or not that like i guess like limits communication or like even gameplay entirely i i think it'd just be kind of interesting but not only does it do that i think it should also on planets that have that disadvantage of having call in times be like twice as long or whatever i think it'll decrease that time or it'll just decrease call times overall you know sometimes maybe like your <laughs> your orbital strike is like seven seconds to call in but if someone has a communications backpack it'll take four um i think another thing too is it will also combat with the stratagem dis or disadvantage of the accuracy so like you'll have your stratagem or be somewhere on the right but then the strike actually hits somewhere on like far off to the left and completely misses the target you wanted to hit i think it'll decrease that area if that makes sense so it'll increase the accuracy of your stratagems when it's supposed to be less accurate, pretty much, is what I'm trying to say. It, 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 it would help in not just communications, but also with your stratagem accuracy and just, you're like a background support for that with the communications backpack. Uh, another stratagem I think would be interesting to talk about or like include is a actual is like an actual like manual mortar system but yeah it, it can be operated by one or two people it's manual like i said so you have a limited number of shots probably less than the sentry the mortar sentry so you have the manual sentry and the mortar sentry and so basically it's like do you want to have something that's like you have to have put your mind to it to work and operate or do you just want to have something that will provide cover for you while you mindlessly do your task back on the manual mortar you know you'll have more range but you have to find your arc you have to you know load it manually all that stuff get your arc down but you'll have increased range you'll get it further than it does with the sentry and then i think another thing that's been like bothering people is the repetitive maps um obviously we've recently had the map where it's like the swamps and stuff you know something like you'd see in vietnam you know go crux or whatever is one of those planets i, I really want to see more populated planets i really want to see like a city map where it's like basically hey, you're having a battle for san andreas over here you know or battle for los angeles whatever it is i i think it'd just be nice to have more populated or city-like maps and i think it'd be really a lot of fun having urban operations and I think it'd be a lot of fun where, remember how like Battlefield operates where you're basically tearing down skyscrapers and you're watching it fall in the middle of the, the mission or in, in the middle of the multiplayer game. I want the same for Helldivers too. I think that'd be so memorable and it creates so many more like cinematic things, I guess. And speaking of cinematic, I really want theater mode. I really want a theater mode. I want to have a, a camera that I can operate maybe that could be a stratagem too. have a cameraman that's able to broadcast broadcast propaganda for you like how he does in starship troopers you know you know given a news report and all that you know you can use that that video i guess on the big screen that's inside your ship i think that, now that i think about it that'd be kind of fun and kind of cool actually hold on wait a minute have a cameraman be an option for <laughs> for a stratagem to promote propaganda you know that would be so much fun that'd be so sick 
it, it make it to where it's like uh, you can you can export that video and use it for like other videos and or export it to make an edit. Do all all the stuff you can with that that fo footage, I guess you know. Promote pop propaganda. Have the developers see that footage. Maybe use it for their propaganda for their for the game. You know, do whatever. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I think that would be a, a great time. I really want the Warthog buggy out already. You know, it's kind of upsetting that some of this, the vehicles are kind of lacking as we do have two mechs. But I think the buggy and the ATV should already be out by now. So, but anyways, that's just some of my ideas and something that needed to be addressed. Because I really have been enjoying this game. I really do love this game still. And it's a shame of how it's been treated because of Sony. Um, and I just hope it gets fixed soon and whatnot. More Helldivers 2. It'll probably be commentaries coming up soon, hopefully. 